I'm Brittany, this is John, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today is another part of the Untamed soundtrack saga that this channel is going on. I did the instrumental version a couple of weeks ago, and now we are doing the version with lyrics. I will also be getting into the official music videos that there are, but I will be listening to the songs first, and looking at the lyrics, and getting my head around those, and then possibly the official music videos are going to be separate. Because I have no idea how long this is going to take. I'm basically just going to watch a video, cry, talk about it, watch a video, cry, talk about it. I have 45 minutes to react to things today. So we are going to get to as many heartbreaking and emotional bits of this soundtrack as we possibly can. Oh, come on. Nope. Are you fucking serious? so thoroughly offended they didn't have to go this hard Starting here, and here I am. Fuck. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's beautiful. He has a beautiful voice. That was some beautiful fucking music. And then they had to go and put lyrics to this music that so poignantly and accurately and emotionally describes. His entire internal conflict and how messy it is and how awful he feels and the grief he has experienced. I can't. I fucking can't. We had to start here. I guess. I borrowed Hannibal wine for this occasion because I knew I would need it. So thank you, Hannibal. And also, I don't think I have enough. Ooh, okay, this should be interesting. This should be fucking interesting. Wow, they got a whole song for this. The beauty is annoying at this point. What the I can't believe they brought her in. Fuck. Chao 
Ooh, that's that's a harmony. Ooh, ooh, you build that bitch. Sorry, uh, my filming session last week got cut really short and so I had to postpone the bulk of this video to today. We're still going ahead as per usual in no particular order and you know if I don't have time today to finish then oh no there's gonna have to be another video about the Untamed soundtrack. Terrible. Ooh, I'm not ready. Oh, why do I feel like not knowing what the lyrics were was like really saving me from some emotional distress? I feel like I've, I'm in this nice little naive bubble and it's not gonna last very long. <laughs> what? Okay, first of all, their voices. Ooh, stop. Stop. No, 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 <laughs> no, that's not what they're actually saying. That's not what they're saying. No way. No fucking way. Oh, oh, the beauty. Not ready for the beauty either. Oh, we're funky now. I can't fucking get over how good they sound together. I've been missing for the past like seven months. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. It's the yearning. You know what I mean? It is the gay ass, queer ass, man on man ass, ass yearning. It's the yearning. It's the adoration. It's the devotion. It's the commitment. It's the stop, stop. And that's not even getting into the fucking entire ass beauty that was this song. Like their harmonies were already destroying me, okay? And the times in the show where you get the glimpse, you know, of this, of the duet version of the theme, it was like, I, I already knew they sounded fucking fantastic together, okay? But now I know that they're singing these high quality, just queer anthem lyrics. Fucking stop, fucking stop. I finished the show and it just keeps giving things to me. Fuck, here we go, here we go, Wei Bu Shan, Wei Bu Shan. I'm not ready for this one either. All right. I 
I'm never gonna be able to hear a flute again. I'm still stuck on the most beautiful person in 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 I'm Okay, see, that was like, that was like a lot coming at me at once. Cause like the sound, it was just so pure. Okay, the sound of it in general was so pure and so well-meaning and just so, so like the, um, it was just so the, it was just so the innocent, do-gooder side of Wushan and I was not fucking ready. And then they had to like sprinkle some serious um, implications throughout. So I was like bouncing back and forth between, you know, innocent Wushan and the purity of his voice is going to make me fucking sob to like, holy shit, gay Wushan is real gay. And I, there, there was oddly just a lot coming at me. What a beautiful song. Oh my God. I'm not ready for the rest of this, y'all. Nope. God. And now we're going to go from Wushan to, okay, listen, I'm calling it now. Wei Wushan's song kind of came at me from a whole bunch of different directions, but Wang Ji's song is going to level me. I can feel it in my bones. Ooh.
That was slick. No, 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 no. I cannot. First of all, I fucking called it, okay? Second of all, now I'm kind of like low key uh, mad because Wu Shan's song was like pretty and innocent and gave me feels, you know, and was just kind of lovely. And then they go so fucking hard for Wang Ji's song. Like they went so hard. They did not have to go this hard. They did not have to go this hard, but they did with the, I, and the, just that big, uh, 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 the music break or whatever the fuck you want to call it with the huge sounds of the, as if that's what he's feeling. And I can't, I, how, I almost feel like Wushan got a little bit, um, got a little bit screwed over with character songs. Just a little bit. I'm sure that this is not an unpopular opinion. I mean, I love Wushan's song. Wushan's song is like, it's just this lovely little bit of unexpected goodness, considering all the different ways they could have gone with Wushan's song. But Wang Ji's song, It, I, I've, the, it's like whenever the untamed has to do anything with just a little bit of queer longing, they like just hit it out of the park so hard that it's ridiculous. This was obscene. This was obscene. His voice sounded so like young, and seeking and fragile and inquiring, obviously. But there was still so much fucking like dignity. Oh my God, I cannot handle this. No, fuck off, fuck off. Oh <sighs> my God. Now, now we have to do her song. Now we have to do her song. Why we gotta do her song next? Why do, did, did we have to do her song directly following Wang Ji's? Did we? I don't think we did. I don't think we fucking did. Oh, then. 
That's not how it ends. That's not fuck. I just got to say for a supporting character who exits the narrative fairly early on, about halfway through, a little over that maybe. They did her so right. Like, usually, it's the opposite. Usually, you know, I get all furious because they do a character dirty. Like, they just do them wrong in one way or another. But with her, they just, they... They just did her so right, man. They just, they, they treated her like the fucking queen that she is. They gave her everything she deserved. They just, they treated her so well. And so I'm in a real weird emotional place where I'm so happy that they treated this character that I loved and who was so fucking beautiful and tragic and everything and all of that so well. But on the other hand, if I don't move on, I'm gonna start sobbing. So we are moving on. Oh man, come on. You can't hit me with Ning after you hit me with Chi. Uh. Oh, fuck this. Ooh, fuck off. Oh, oh, break it down. Oh, you break it down. Oh, see, it's the guitar with the... 
with the strings, with the everything else. I don't know. I don't know. And now it's time for my fucking husband. Because I'm in the correct emotional place for this. If it's about Yao, I'ma fucking lose it. Please be about like Wang Ji or something. Gorgeous piano, sure, why not? It's called what now? Ooh. Ooh. Nope, nope. I'm not ready for this. giving me a percussion interlude. Ooh, no, fuck off. God, no, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. instead of making it about solely one person in in my husband's life um they just they just made a song that was just fundamentally it wasn't his point of view on any one situation it was the core issues and struggles that all of these things brought about in him And I, 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 how do you, my eyebrow. Okay, I have time for one more. So I guess we're looking deep into Shu Young's soul before we go today. Oh no. I want to throttle whoever the fuck composed these. That was some James Bond 
天真，拨开心门，我一颗桃暖这孤身。颠簸命运多。Oh fuck me, the piano. 最是否能重生一个在山河中风，雨花星辰，夜色中寻。What the hell kind of high note was that? 
Fuck this show. Oh my God. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week with the other half of the lyric soundtrack. And then the week after that, we'll get into the official music videos that I am, I, I'm, I'm not ready for. And please remember to take care of yourself. <laughs>